The browser in Omnisphere has a lot of innovative features to help you find exactly the sounds you need fast. Omnisphere's browser was designed to provide easy access to a massive library without feeling overwhelmed by too many options at once. Omnisphere has three browser types. First, there's the multi-browser, which can be accessed by clicking anywhere on this area. Then, each part has its own patch browser, and patch browsers can be accessed from several places. One of them is by clicking anywhere on this area, which can be seen from many pages in the interface. It can be accessed from the mixer page, and from the live mode page by clicking on these folder icons. Then there's the sound source browser, and each part has two sound source browsers, one for each layer. These can be accessed from the main controls page by clicking here, from the main info page by clicking on these folder icons, or from the edit page by clicking on this area. So let's access the patch browser. When you're in the patch browser, from the directory menu, you can select which patch library you want to see. If you want to hear new sounds, select the Omnisphere library. If you don't see the Atmosphere library, make sure you update your patch library by visiting our website. Let's go ahead and select the Omnisphere library. Having so many sounds can be both a blessing and a curse. It can be overwhelming and time consuming, but you'll be glad to know there are lots of features in this browser that can help you find the sounds you need easily and fast to keep you inspired. The first key feature is the search function, and it's really simple to use. So let's say I want to look for pads. I'll simply type pads, and the results are displayed right here. To go through this list, you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse. Now let's search for textures. I'll go ahead and type textures, and here are the results. If you type a single letter, let's say the letter D, all the patches that start with the letter D are displayed there. Keep in mind that when you exit the browser, the search string will be reset. The information about what is currently selected is displayed in this area here. Here's the name of the patch, the library it belongs to, and the size. Here you'll find information about how the sound is created and playing suggestions. And by clicking here, you can see its tags. You'll also get an image, which lets you know which browser you're in. Because remember that Omnisphere has three different browser types. Right now, we're in the patch browser. Here's what it looks like in the multi-browser. And in the sound source browser, you notice that each sound source has its own unique image. These are a lot of fun because they give you an idea what to expect from the sound. So whenever you see a unique image, that means you're in the sound source browser. And by clicking on the magnifying glass icon here, you can even zoom in to find more information about the sound, get a web link, and a bigger image. Let's go ahead and close the zoom and stay in the sound source browser. Results can also be displayed in four column view, which will remove the info area. This can be done by clicking here. Four column view is really useful for displaying more results. And in this view, you can scroll horizontally. You can go back to the previous view by clicking here. Now, have you ever noticed that when you have a large sound library, you always end up selecting the same sounds at the beginning of the list, even though there's thousands of great sounds at the bottom of the list? Well, we've included a few special features in Omnisphere's browser that will help you avoid falling into that routine and keep things fresh and interesting. The results can be sorted alphabetically from A to Z, or in Z to A reverse order, or they can be shuffled. When you use Shuffle, it gets you out of the same patterns of selecting the same thing over and over again. The results will be shuffled as many times as the button is pressed. Now there are more than 2,700 sound sources you can use, and many of them aren't used in patches, so it's really important that you take advantage of the browser features so you have access to them. The steppers allow you to go through the sounds this way, and although it's not possible to control them using commands from your computer keyboard, you can use MIDI messages. For information on the refresh button, please watch the Favorites and Projects tutorial. This is the Audition button. Clicking on it will play the currently loaded sound. This is really useful because it allows you to audition sounds when you don't have a keyboard handy. In fact, there's a great feature called Audition Autoplay, which can be accessed under Settings. When Audition Autoplay is enabled, 
a sound will automatically play when it's loaded. The note that's played, and for how long, can be set here. Let's check it out. Now here's a feature that will allow you to audition sounds even faster. Preview load will load only a specific range of sound, which reduces the loading time. Let's try this in the composite morphing category. Now these sound sources have many samples, so it takes a second to fully load them. So I'm going to go ahead and set the browser to preview load, and let's see the difference. So you can see, when preview load is selected and audition autoplay is enabled, auditioning sounds can be done really fast. And here's a really cool tip. Since I can MIDI learn these up-down buttons, I don't even have to use the mouse to audition sounds. Let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to right-click on this stepper, select MIDI CC Learn, and press this switch on my MIDI controller. And I'm done. Now I'll repeat the process with this stepper. MIDI CC Learn, and press this switch on my MIDI controller. Okay, now I'm ready to audition without having to use the mouse. Let's check it out. And here's another trick. If you're zoomed in, you can still step through the different sounds while looking at a bigger image, notes, and tags. Let's try it. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and close Sound Source Zoom, and I'm going to turn Audition Autoplay off. And now notice when the browser is closed or auto load is selected, the full sound will be loaded. The browser has two modes, attributes and file directory. The traditional file directory style browsing shows the folders found in the hard disk. So we can select the burning piano, for example. What's even better is that we have an attributes browser where we can narrow down the options based on different types of sound attributes, like complexity, mood, tonality, etc. So let's switch to the patch browser for a moment and see how that works. The attributes mode works similar to something like iTunes, so working in attributes mode is a great way to search for sounds. Making selections in this area allow you to narrow the focus to only the sounds you're interested in, which are then displayed here. For example, under category, I'll select ARP and rhythm. Under pattern, let's choose arpeggiated, type, retro patterns, and under genre, I'll select old school. And out of these results, I'll select this patch here. Now under type, let's go ahead and select organic patterns. And in genre, let's select experimental. And let's load this patch here. And let's go ahead and take a listen. So I found exactly the type of sounds I needed right away. So you can see what an incredibly fast way this is to work. Let's go back to the Sound Source browser. Now what makes Omnisphere's browser so unique is that everything is context sensitive. So when I change categories, I'm presented with only the attributes that are most meaningful for those types of sounds. For example, let's try human voices. You can see that the columns change to attributes that are relevant to voices, like gender, for example. Let's say you only want to browse for female sounds. Done. Whereas, for example, if we're in textures, gender isn't relevant at all, and it's a lot more useful to have mood and tonality. So I'm going to browse for textures that are distant and in a major key. So 
but you can see everything is always context sensitive. When I select psychoacoustic, these three browser filters automatically display information related to psychoacoustic. If I select bowed instruments here, these two display only information related to psychoacoustic bowed instruments. So I'll select bowed guitar, and this one's only going to display information related to the selections in the other three. So I'm going to go ahead and select detuned, and here are the results. Also, the browser filters support multiple selections by command clicking on a Mac or control clicking on a PC. So let's say I want to browse for composite morphing and psychoacoustic sound sources that are aggressive. I'll select composite morphing, command click on psychoacoustic, there's the multiple selection, and then select aggressive, and there are my results. So by clicking just a few times, I was able to go from a huge list like this one to a smaller list that's much more useful. Because now I'm looking at only meaningful results. Best of all, you can use search and the attributes together. So let's say out of these results, I want to see only buzzing sounds. So I'll go ahead and type buzzing, and here they are. The more you understand about the browser's features, the better experience you'll have with Omnisphere's epic sound library. Be sure to check out the other browser tutorials and the reference guide too.